Hello YouTube, Retro Shocker back again with the third instalment of Finish Them. Um, this week was a lot more relaxed when it came down to the challenge. Uh, did not feel as much pressure as I did in week one um, because I'd already broken my duck, so I'd already completed the first game of the year. So, yeah, I did a lot of gaming this week. Um, I actually had some time off from work um, where I didn't have to do anything other than take the kids to school and then just relax. So I, I got a majority, a lot of gaming done this week, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've been, I've been playing the PlayStation 2 quite a bit, um, games that I haven't never played when when it first came out. And I, I, am, I am really enjoying them. I'm close to finishing a couple of those games that I've sort of started playing. Um, and yeah, really, really enjoying it at the minute. Uh, Everything this week has just been really relaxed, really chilled, and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but you're all here to see if I've managed to finish a game, and the answer to that is yes. Yes, I have. I've finished yet another 8-bit game. The game I played this week and completed, I really, really enjoyed. It's a very much a pick-up-and-play game. Graphically, the sprites look amazing. The colour palette that's been used works so well with the game and the music is phenomenal. It's for an 8-bit game um, <coughs> with coming out of the Sega Master System, the music is is incredible and I found myself humming along as well as singing along because if you like me and you've got kids you've seen this film a fair few times. And the game that I beat this week was Aladdin on the Sega Master System. What a game this is. I picked this up um, thinking it would be a direct port to the Mega Drive version which I had growing up. And it's not. It's a, it's a lot simpler. Uh, and the game itself is slightly different. There's less platforming. More, well, there is a, it is a platformer to a degree. But there's more uh, sort of running away from things and not real any attacks like with the, the Mega Drive version where you get the sword, you don't get that to the very end. But the music in this is phenomenal. The, the, the carpet ride levels are brilliant. It's a solid game with solid controls and it responds really, really well. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing it this week. And to be honest with you, I could quite happily sit and play it again and complete it again. It is that good. So, as usual, up there will be a screenshot of me at the, uh, with the end credits just to prove that I did do it and I'm not just spinning you all on yarn. But, yeah, I think it's about time that I actually did some of the proper classics now. Um, but this week's a bit hectic for me. Um, it's my eldest's birthday on Sunday, which is my day off from work. So I'll, I'll be doing stuff with him rather than gaming all day. I'll obviously still game when he's in bed, but... Uh, we have to see. I've got I've got a few a few appointments to deal with on my other day off. So, but I'm sure I'll get something done. But I really, really, really want to smash out one of the one of the all time classics that I haven't beat. Like one of the Sonics or a Mario. That's my goal um, to do before the end of January. I want one of the classics gone in the first month, and then I'll be really, really happy with that. So, guys, that was it for this week. So, that's another game down from my uh, total of. My target of 52, so that's two in total now. So only another 50 to go. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm feeling a bit more positive about this challenge now um, than I was last week. I was a bit worried last week, as you, some of you may be aware. Um, so yeah, until next week, guys. Take care.